Hi, I'm Sarah Martin, the Student Services TOSA here in Palm Springs Unified. And this classroom management PD video is on peer modeling and collaboration. Peer modeling and support strategies are interventions in which same aged peers work together to model appropriate academic and social responses and or provide targeted support to a target student to help them engage in activities that are typically contexts in which problem behavior is exhibited. Peer modeling is comprised of multiple strategy types. This intervention goes beyond having a student model for their peers, although that's an excellent strategy. During this PD video, we will be honing in further and identifying specific students with specific needs at specific times. Some types of peer modeling and supports include video models of peers engaging in appropriate behaviors, which can be used to teach the target student replacement behaviors, and face-to-face -face peer modeling, which is another strategy where a peer is trained to support the target student by modeling appropriate behavior for the situation or providing a prompt for the target student to imitate the behavior. Peer support provides the target student with peer guidance to engage in a task. The guidance can include showing an example or model of how to do a task, encouraging the student to do the task, and providing feedback to the target student. The guidance is predetermined and scheduled by the teacher. The teacher also participates and teaches the students how to model and collaborate with the target student. The rationale for using this strategy is that modeling, both live peer modeling and video recorded modeling, has been shown to increase appropriate behavior and decrease problem behavior, specifically for students whose problem behavior function is to access peer attention. This intervention is also effective in increasing academic engagement and skill acquisition. For many students, peer attention and peer modeling is a powerful motivator. Consider using this strategy when problem behaviors occur to obtain peer attention, the student has deficits in social skills, the student is not engaged in academic instruction when working independently, but does perform better when engaged in peer partner activities. Here are the steps for implementation. First, determine the contexts in which the problem behavior occurs for accessing peer attention. Determine the behaviors to be modeled and work on a script for the peer or peers to follow. What I mean by having the model students using a script is provide words and actions that they can use to model the expectations and practice how they can model them before beginning to work with their target peer. For real-time peer modeling, the script should include the specific behaviors, when the peer should model, what the peer should say, and do while modeling. Also, it should include how to prompt their target peer to imitate if that student doesn't respond after the model. The script also addresses how the model student can give feedback and reinforcement to the target student. In peer model video recordings, the teacher will want to be present to reinforce the behaviors being modeled. For example, they could be seen in the background saying, I like the way George is holding his pencil. Second, decide upon the method of peer modeling or support to be used in each context. Also, for peer collaboration and support, determine the nature of the support that best matches the context of the problem behavior occurring. Third, select peers who will serve as models and supporters. The peers should be preferred peers of the target student, as well as peers who are caring and empathetic. Fourth, schedule a time to directly teach the peers the script and plan. The initial teaching should occur without the target peer. Explanation, rationale, modeling, role-playing, and feedback should be used during the teaching sessions. Depending on the age of the students, several teaching sessions may be necessary. 
teaching sessions for younger peers, students who are younger than second grade, should be fairly short in duration and will need to be repeated. Schedule a time to practice with the target peer as well. This is best achieved by setting up a simulation that is like the context in which the modeling or support will be provided. Provide feedback to the target peer and the modeling peers as they practice the intervention. If using a video recording, be present when the activity begins in which the student is to use the behaviors. Decide upon the comments that will be delivered to the student to encourage imitation of the modeled behaviors. Above all, be consistent. Implement the intervention to the best of your ability. Here are some implementation considerations. When using peers as intervention implementers, make sure that they are involved in the development of the script. This will ensure that the language and physical behaviors being modeled are age appropriate and natural for the peers to perform. Selection of the peers is critical for success of this strategy and enhancing the target student's buy-in. If using videos, they should not be long in duration. Videos that are three to four minutes are ideal for this intervention. Provide rewards to the peers who are providing the modeling or support and have an acknowledgement plan for the student receiving the support. When they follow the modeling, be sure to reinforce that behavior. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. Please reach out if you have any questions or comments.